Right, everyone. So now I'm going to do ox cheek. Don't let the fact that it is the face of a cow put you off, because if you cook it properly and it's really easy to cook, it is one of the tenderest, nicest parts of the cow that you will ever eat. Right, let's do a video. Right, first things first, I'm going to start off with a decent sized pan. It's important that you can put a lid on it. Just a good splash of oil, just veggie oil. About that much. And I'm going to put, I've pre chopped a red onion, just a large red onion. I'm just going to put that into the pan just to sweat down a bit. Good sprinkle of salt. Quite an unhealthy amount of salt, I suppose, for the amount of onion, but given the weight we're going to cook it, it won't matter. Right, I'll pop the lid on that and we'll have a look at this piece of it. Right, so obviously, as you can see, it's just got a ropey looking piece of beef. This. A lot of marble in it, there's a lot of fat, a lot of sinewy stuff. It's the face of a cow. Anyway, I'm going to chop this into three pieces. So maybe there. You can see my knives are very sharp, but you can see how it does take some effort to cut through on the cross section. You can see all that stuff. That all melts down into like a beautiful, beautiful jelly sort of substance. And it's really, really good. There. Right, now then, let's have a look. Right, these onions. We don't really need to do too much to them. <coughs> there, I can smell that last time. Right, at this stage, I'm going to just pop the piece of the beef straight in there. I've got a pint of uh, pre made beef gravy, just really good, thick beef gravy. Pour that in. Bang the lid on, and now I'm just going to put it into the oven for, believe it or not, four to five hours. The only important thing you need to think about when you're doing it is one, when you get out of the oven, make sure you've got some oven gloves because obviously it's all going to get really hot. But it's, it's you know, I, I have forgotten and burnt my hands once. Um, but yeah, just make sure that the pan doesn't dry up. Make sure that you turn it maybe every half hour to an hour, just making sure that you don't get too much colour on either side. And it's basically that, it just cooks itself and it's going to be beautiful. We'll have a look in a bit there. We'll have a look in a bit, friends. Bye bye, friends. And you want the oven set at about 120 degrees centigrade. I think I might have missed that rather important fact off. All right, friends. Bye bye. See you in a moment. Bye bye. Careful, that is really hot. Right, friends. So this is what it looks like. It's actually had just over five hours of simmering in this gravy. And it's, I don't know if you can, if I push down, can you see how it's, it's sort of spongy and so delicate. Right, I'm going to plate it up, and I'll look at it on the plate and we'll go with it. Bye bye friends. Right friends, so here we have this beautiful piece of ox cheek with uh, a few trimmings going on. Jackie, grab the camera. What we got there? What we got? Mash, carrots, cr cheesy leek, some parsnip, some braised cabbage, Bit of asparagus that the nice lady over at road gave me, some broccoli, did I mention that? And that piece of beef. I'll just pour some gravy on because it's never completely not gravy, although Ollie seems to disagree because he's getting into his now. And let's just have a look at how tender this piece of beef is. It looks dark on camera, but it isn't. I'm off to go in like that. See that? Seriously. And it just sticks to the fork. I will have a taste. Oh man. You don't have to chew it. I'm, I'm going to go in again. Look, you can see how it just pulls apart. But the taste that you get from it is absolutely incredible. Considering it cooks itself, in the old days it was really, really cheap. Now it's gone up in value, I suppose, because people, it's like a, a fashionable cut of beef, I suppose. But friends, it cooks itself. It's really easy. It tastes incredible. Do it with some of these sides. If you want me to do a bit on any of the sides, just say so somewhere. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's go with it. I'm going to eat it now. I hope you enjoyed the video, friends. It was semi-professional for us, considering the last load of uh, stuff we've been doing. But anyway, enjoy it. Bye-bye, friends.